Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our virtual dyno software. This is gonna allow us to plot horsepower and torque without a chassis dyno. We're able to export data logs from the engine management system we're working with, and we're gonna be importing them into the virtual dyno and putting in some details, such as our vehicle weight, the gearing, uh, the tire size of the vehicle we're using, the aerodynamic drag, then we're able to plot the horsepower and torque very, very accurately. And in fact, I've used this software and compared it against my Dynapack chassis dyno, and it is fairly accurate. So if I'm making about 300 horsepower in my dyno, I might be making 305 or 290 with this virtual dyno, depending on some other factors we have that can contribute to the power reading. So I'm gonna go through the software, do a software overview in this video. We're gonna be taking a look at some specific examples and data logs and opening them up and looking at the software, working with it. I'm gonna be showing you some things you can do with it, some things you need to avoid doing when you're working with a virtual dyno so that you get accurate results. We have a lot of things to cover, so let's jump into the video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our virtual dyno software program. So the virtual dyno is gonna allow us to go in and measure the horsepower and torque that our engine is making based on data logs that we're capturing in the engine management system we're working with. So whether we're using Honda, AEM, Megasquirt, Haltech, or other popular standalone or OEM-based ECU systems, we can capture certain data in our data logs, such as engine RPM, throttle position, boost pressure, air fuel, and a timestamp on our data log. Once we capture that, we can take that data, bring it into the virtual dyno, and it can go and plot our horsepower and torque based on knowing things such as our vehicle weight, the gearing, the aerodynamic drag of our vehicle, and what kind of gear we're operating in, let's third gear, fourth gear, and if we have any passenger weight or any other additional weight to the vehicle. We're able to input all that to the virtual dyno, and it can output what we're going to find for horsepower and torque. Now we can use this in our tuning process, so we don't need a chassis dyno available, but in order to successfully use this software to be able to properly tune your spark timing or your variable cam timing, we need to make sure we follow along with what I talk about in this video here because it's very specific to make the software work right, to be able to get accurate results. And that's what we want. We don't want to go and have one run where we add two degrees of timing and see that it lost power or gained power when it actually didn't. Or if we produce uh, completely different results, if it shows that we made another 60 horsepower when we're naturally aspirated, that's going to be obviously uh, something that's not going to be reliable to use in our tuning. So we need to make sure we definitely follow along and go through all the process here and set up. So the first thing is installing our software. And I have my virtual dyno already installed here on my desktop, but if you don't have it installed on your laptop, we're gonna jump into the internet browser and we're gonna be typing in virtualdyno.net. That's gonna take you to our virtual dyno software download page here. And then we'll find at the top, we have a download now button. Simply click the download now button. It'll allow you to download the software and then follow along with the installation instructions. It takes about one to two minutes to download, it's very quick. Now we do find it is a free software download, I should 